the Huey Cam. Featuring the best of Lamont and Tonelli on 107.7 The Bone. Uh, one of our all-time favorite guests, Robert Schimmel, is in the studio, who's at uh, Tommy T's. Uh, tonight and tomorrow evening, you can go to uh, robertschimmel.com and get tickets there or at tommytees.com as well. Or give the uh, club a call. One of the all-time best. Rob, so uh, uh, your personal life is kind of uh, all goofy right now. He's... He's. <laughs> did he fall? No, I think he's okay. Yeah. I, 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 thought he, I thought he committed Harry Carey on the microphone there. Don't call 911, whatever you do. Yeah. <laughs> you again? <laughs> so, you're, you're, uh, what does your first wife think of you getting this divorce? Oh, she loves it. <laughs> this is a uh, big vindication for her. You oh, kidding? is that right? Yeah. yeah, she was out the last two weeks to see the grandbaby and everything. And right. We yeah. went out to dinner every night and lunch, and we had, we get along really great. And uh-huh. she said, you know what? What goes around comes around. This is what happened with us, and now she did it to you. How, yeah. do, you, how do you like it? <laughs> Ooh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it sounds like you had a good two weeks. She said, did you get it? She said, at least did you get the one last time? I said, yeah. When she changed the locks on the house, that was the one last time. <laughs> one last time. <laughs> and I called her. Yeah. I said, you changed the locks on the house? She said, yeah. I said, you know what? You're, you're not a stupid girl. Why couldn't you wait until Monday? Don't you know they charge extra on Saturday to change the locks? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really think I was going to be coming over there Saturday when they let me out Saturday morning? <laughs> hey, thank God. I see ya. I'm going back home now. <laughs> To see if it got any better. <laughs> oh my! So now, no, do you have any uh, prospects in sight? Do you have any? Uh, you, you, you seeing any gals? No, no. I'm going to be 60 a week from Saturday. Mm-hmm. Oh, happy birthday! Yeah, really. <laughs> um, Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. I haven't I haven't been out on a date since May first when she filed. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she files like eight months ago, yeah, but it's just kind of in limbo. It. Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't gone out. Um, I never was really big on the going out circuit, so I wouldn't. And times have changed so much, I wouldn't even know how to do it anymore. Uh huh. You know and. Uh, I don't want to have to go to Mexico to get Rohypnol. I have, <laughs> <laughs> have one more drink, honey. Okay. Uh, it's okay if I take my pants off and uh, go to sleep between your legs. Yeah, sure, sure. I think you're giving Sully's dating tips away. <laughs> I'm seeing the sugar plum fairy. Yeah, right. Bad. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Quick, goodness. open your mouth. Willy Wonka's coming. <laughs> <laughs> that is Sully's line. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was wrong. I, well, you know, when you're on the road and you come home and there's a do not disturb sign on your bedroom door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things aren't going well. No. And then she says, you know, he's uncomfortable with you over here. She's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can I have my checkbook so at least I can make the mortgage payments from a different location? <laughs> so, God forbid he's uncomfortable. Um, paying for the house that he's uh, getting his clock cleaned in. <laughs> and this is your next door neighbor. She said, Here's it. She said, I know what your problem is. You just think that he's bigger than you and that you're... you're. <laughs> I said, he is. He's 6'3". Because <laughs> all my friends were going, why don't you just go over there and beat the crap out of the guy? I said, yeah. When she starts seeing someone a little smaller. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's big. I mean, he's like a football player big kind of guy. I'm going to go over there and say, hey, stay away from my wife. And then he's going to tell my wife, hey, watch your husband take it like you do. <laughs> Here's Mr. Funny Guy. <laughs> Hey, Mr. HBO, how is it? (laughs) Spinker still intact? (laughs) Where's Rodney now? (laughs) (laughs) That is beautiful. 
<laughs> I'll tell you what. One of my all-time favorite guys, Robert Schimmel. Can you count me in? <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, was playing at Tommy T's? Uh, has is, anybody, has what's that? Anybody here divorced that's friends? <laughs> oh my God. I, I never, never had a divorce. She said, you know, she said, I could see us double dating. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. I want to sit across the table with some girl with a lot of extra baggage. <laughs> Me with a box of hankies to cry into, and her making out with the guy she left me for in front of us. <laughs> Going, hey, this is a fun date. This is a fun date. You and you're paying for and, everyone. Uh, rent Schindler's list. I really can't take it. Uh, Robert Schimmel is playing at Tommy <laughs> T's. Lamont and Tonelli, weekday mornings 5 to 10 on 1077 The Bone.